Hello, good evening, welcome to another video on the Backyard Gunner channel. I am Al, your host. Um, I am going to do a review of this um, rather funky toy, which does come apart quite easily. But um, yeah, it's just it was bought for me as a bit of a practical joke because you guys know I like guns, and I'm gun mad, and everything like that. So. Taking a quick look over this thing, you can see it says made in China. If well you would be able to see that if my phone would focus. It has a unicorn, but the horn is not on its head, it's on its nose, so it's a mutated unicorn. As you can see it's all plastic construction. Um minus the screws that hold it together, but that's with everything. I'm not gonna try and try not to be a stereotypical reviewer. Like you know everyone starts with, oh it's mostly plastic but obviously it's screwed in the screws. Well obviously the screws aren't gonna be plastic, you absolute dickhead. Um but yeah so obviously full plastic construction, very cheap feeling, very thin. Not that I'm complaining it was bought as a practical joke, so I don't really use this a lot. Um you can see there there's a bit of extra plastic on the bottom you can see the definitive seam which separates the two halves of the thing um, top slide is yellow the bottom frame the, the bottom portion of the frame is blue with these they look a little bit brownish depending on the light on the camera but they're actually really bright orange the whole gun is a bright color yellow trigger and not what um, has no function in safety no function in slide stay you wouldn't expect it anyway however there is a little groove there to show that obviously to make it look a little bit more realistic I guess as well as the one for where the thumb safety would obviously flick up and apply the safety the only thing that does function on this is the magazine release, and obviously when you cock the thing, the slide moves. And that is very easy, as you can see, to do. I can put my thumb in there and push the slide back with my fingers. It has a grey barrel. Um, as you can see, it's very wide. It needs to be, because it fires these mock shells, these mock bullets. Which are actually pretty cool. And they've got rubberized, um, what would be the projectile is rubberized, and the shell itself the is uh, plastic, as with the primer, or what would be the primer. Um, you could play Russian roulette with this thing, because sometimes it fires and sometimes it doesn't. You get a very nice magazine. Um, it's grey, obviously. And again, full poly, uh, full plastic construction. Obviously, it goes down because you put these rounds in there. You get ten rounds with it, but it hold the magazine holds five. I'm probably not going to be able to do this one-handed because I can't press them down properly and press them back. As you can see, it's already trying to push that round out. So I'm just going to have to do it with one round. Fits in there nicely. Doesn't come back out at all. It's got a little bit of play there, but other than that. Doesn't hurt when this thing hits you. I can't cock it with one hand. Because I can't push my fingers back far enough. There we go. Right. So it's cocked, ready to rock. I'm not going to look down the barrel, but I'll let you guys look. You can't see, oh, there you go, you can see the end. All right. Doesn't shoot very far at all. I'm just going to fire at the bed. <laughs> Hardly any power to it. But it's, uh, it's fun, I guess, you know. Ah, the mag won't drop out by itself. So I'll just do that. Give it some assistance. Come on. There we go. Mm. 
And again, take the magazine out. Would help if I had longer fingers. Oh, come on, I did that a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, I got that idea. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I still can't get two rounds in there, 100. So yeah, um, as you may know, I own um, M4s, Mark 18, Glocks in spring form, gas form, electric, um, M9s in spring form, gas form, etc. Um, but every straight man needs an M1911. So I have an M1911 because I'm straight. Yes, I'm only joking. Don't get all set. I, I, I have um, relatives that are gay, lesbians, and whatnot. So don't get all set. It's just a joke. Um. Yeah, gay. I have nine. I obviously I have airsoft 1911s. I have them in gas form, spring form. Um, as you guys will know if you watch my older videos, I've done reviews on things like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it for this little thing. I has little sights, but they are useless because this thing barely even shoots a meter. <laughs> As I said, I'm not too bothered. I don't, you know, it's not airsoft. It's not um, needed for much work. They, they are designed for kids, obviously, since it is only a toy. Um. Oh look, we just got two rounds in. Let's see if we can get a third round in there. There we go, we got a third round in the magazine. So now we've got three rounds. But, like I said, it is a nice piece of fun, and I don't really shoot it much or use it much, but it is pretty pretty unique in a way. I've never seen many toys really like this that have like the little mock bullets and stuff like that. Nerf guns maybe, but they obviously look quite unrealistic in my opinion, because I've never seen something that's got sort of a realistic look to it, other than the bright colour obviously. Um, paint it black and obviously whatever um, but I've never actually really seen anything else like this that takes the like say the mock bullets that um, or it reloads semi realistically and obviously looks more like a real gun than an earth gun does um, this is my review of this little plastic toy M1911 please like share comment subscribe for more um, I know I'm uploading quite a few videos and, you know, so close together, um, but I'm just thinking of videos to do and doing them while I remember, so, <laughs> yeah, maybe some funny videos, parodies, whatever to come tomorrow, because I'm going out for another walk, um, but, yeah, please, like, like, share, comment, subscribe on this video and hit the bell notification so you obviously get notified of new uploads. And I'll see you in the next one. Please stay safe and take care, guys.